Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video, One Tool a Week. Guy, if you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This week, we're going to be taking a look at the Milwaukee Radio Slash Charger, the M12 version. So stick around and let's get to it. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool a Week. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, I went ahead and picked up a new radio, guys. I currently have a Milwaukee radio. The only thing is it's just a bit bulky for the size but it doesn't matter it still makes great noise and i went ahead and saw that they came out with a new m12 radio so i went ahead and picked it up so with that being said guys this week we're taking a look at this baby right here this is going to be the milwaukee m12 radio plus charger uh model number 2951-20 i went ahead and saw it on sale at home depot and i went ahead and picked it up and got some batteries with it so with that being said let's go ahead and open opened it up all right so of course it's going to come with the instructions and some more tools catalogs in case you want to buy some more and let's go ahead and pull this baby this box will get to it in a little bit all right then throw the box over there and go ahead and open it up so here you go guys this is going to be the little radio that it comes with all around as you can tell it's a very nice size if you can see my hands they're going to be a very it's just going to be a nice size compared to everything else right there so if you can see it it's going to be this right here so of course the dimensions for it is going to be up here it's going to be five and five eighths of an inch wide right here and it's going to be five and three eighths wide right there of an inch and at the bottom if you see it right there the full length on it or height is going to be nine and a quarter of an inch high on it which is going to be nice sizes compared to my other radio if you had seen it it is huge bulky and it just sucks carrying it around all around all the job sites but it does have a loud system to it so i went ahead and tried this out and this is relatively loud will it compare to the other one no of course the other one's going to cost about 200 this one's going to run you about 143 dollars and 99 cents on amazon now of course if you could see right here there's two two little items right there in between the mesh right there and it's going to be you're going to get one tweeter and one full wrench speaker now let's go ahead and flip it over up here and as you can see i already have a battery inserted in there and let's go ahead and open it up so peel this baby right there take off the tape and as you can see it comes with a nice little flip over antenna that way you catch a better signal now of course the display is going to come with a protector Go ahead and pull off that protect. You can see it a tad bit better. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Of course, the power button is going to be up here. You press it. It's going to light up. That way you can see everything. And it, it helps you uh, locate it at night as well. Now, the first thing that you're going to see up here, you're going to have an AM and FM button which let's go ahead and zoom that in right there which right here you're gonna have am and fm you're gonna have a clock a preset up to 10 presets that you could adjust and you're gonna be able to have a bluetooth capability for your phone so just in case you don't want to listen to a radio you have the bluetooth option right there now of course you're gonna have your loudness it goes up to 15 and you're also gonna have some adjustments to it so if you go ahead and hold down let me see right there if you go ahead and hold down the am and fm it's going to give you uh, some settings right there that we could adjust them and the bass also you could adjust it now you put it back it's going to take you back to the radio two clicks and you adjust it with the buttons on the side up here on the top now if you go to the other clock of course if you have the radio on you're going to be able to adjust it to the time and that's going to set your time and also you're going to have your battery life on the top left corner of the display now if you look at the bottom it's going to be your preset as you can see i have the preset one set to that and it's going to just change to all the presets of the stations you have on there up to 10 presets you're able to set now of course you're going to have your volume control and you're also going to have uh your selections right here which is scanning for the buttons let me see real quick 
my camera gets back on focus right there now in the back over here if you were wondering what this box was let me go ahead and zoom out a tad bit now if you're wondering what the box was this is going to be some batteries that you could that you could install in here that way you don't lose your time or your clock every time you switch off the battery to it and over here you're also going to have your ac adapter now the ac adapter is going to work for two purposes one it's going to be able to power up your radio and two it's going to charge your battery yes it is a charger as well and as you can see right there you can also charge your phone which you're going to be able to connect a usb let me see if i could zoom in right there you're going to be able to connect your usb and over here you're going to have your ac adapter now if you look around here you're going to have a rubber seat sealant that way it keeps everything nice and watertight and like i said it's gonna have an impact resistant body around it and you're also gonna have an ip54 that's gonna be water and dust resistant body now like i said this is going to be a nice radio it's just going to be a nice size option and on top of it charging your phones it's also going to charge your m 12 battery so right here on the left side you're gonna have a red light display and another red light display now the one on the left is gonna indicate that it's charging and the one on the right is gonna indicate you that it's fully charged now that's gonna be the that's going to be the radio and of course over here you're going to have a nice little handle that you could grab onto you could carry it with it you could loop something around it if you want to stick a nail or something in between it that way you could center it off that's going to be the purpose of this little loop right there you're going to have a see-through section through the handle if you want to run some rope some nylon uh anything you could think about that we could hang it somewhere zip ties uh it's going to come in handy as far as hanging it up now milwaukee did think about it and like i said the portability is great i recently had the i believe the klein speaker i dropped it from a very high area and went ahead and broke but again i picked this baby up that way i could see what this one was going to be like and so far i am liking it a lot just for the portability i've always said that portability is always the best option to go with now of course uh, like i said it's going to cost you about 143 dollars and 99 cents which is not cheap it is going to be a good price but again if you have a bunch of m12 batteries laying around uh you're gonna have power or juice for this all around and it's also gonna serve you a charger so you end up losing a charger chargers aren't cheap they are gonna cost so it'll help you for that purpose so with that being said guys let me know what you think in the comments below let me know what kind of radio you have at your job site what kind of batteries what kind of brands you carry and what you like and don't like that much about them as always guys thank you all for supporting and watching one tool a week guy